Finally, starting the planting arrangement. After referring to the planting diagram, Amano builds the arranging image based on the finished composition in front of him. This planting diagram was prepared by Amano beforehand in Japan to indicate which plants are to be located in the circular walls or hilly parts. This time, about 60 species of aquatic plants were prepared, including immersed and submerged plants. Let's start planting with tiger lotus first. Since this species develops floating leaves, we need to have some space between plants to prevent those growing leaves from creating shades and obstructing the growth of adjacent plants. At the same time, he started explaining about planting in the main circular wall. Specially made stick indicators are used here. This layout requires many kinds of plants. The sticks are color-coded so that the planting areas can be easily identified. Amano uses a laser pointer to direct the staff to the locations of the sticks. One after another, the planting areas are decided. After all the stick indicators are identified, the final decisions are made which plants are going in which areas. Along the stick indicators, the planting is carried out. On the previous day, tape-like plants in the current type, meaning the plants rolled in plant fiber sheet, were checked and prepared. By folding the leaves in the same direction, it leaves the planting space open so that it is easy to work on. After arranging the plants, some Amazonia soil is added. The rest of the circular walls are also planted one by one. In order to avoid drying out the plants, some people are planting, while other people are sprinkling water. The hilly parts are next to be planted. Wabikusa is mainly used for these parts. <laughs> This is a hill on the right side of the tank. Several species of Echinodoros are mainly planted here. The plants are arranged according to species in alternate triangles. That way, the borders of various plant species can look natural. The hill on the left side of the tank is also being worked on. On this side, there are different varieties of species arranged, such as Ludwigia, Rotala and Hygrophila. The 40 meters tank cannot be planted in a day. 
we needed to water all night long in order to avoid drying out the plants. It is time to put on a final spurt for the planting process. The hearts and minds of all the staff are united. This is, uh, this is okay. uh, day today. One, two, three, number one. Number one. one, two, three. Number one. Before arranging epiphytes, Amano explains the important points about securing the plant. Usually, wood tight wrapped around driftwood is removed when the epiphytes have grown on it. However, as we have used hundreds of wood tight this time, we cannot take out all of them. Therefore, we need to secure the plants while at the same time making sure that the wood tight is obscured. Color tapes are wrapped around the driftwood. These tapes indicate the locations where the epiphytes should be arranged. The blue tape is for bolvitis, the green one is for microsorum narrow leaf, and the yellow one is for microsorum petrops. We used labor-intensive methods to wrap the plants one after another. Anubias were wrapped around driftwood and also arranged on stones in natural positions. They helped to hide the circular walls effectively. Plants are also being arranged on the stone walls of the hills. After completing the arrangement of the epiphytes, it's time to add the finishing touches. In order to enhance the natural appearance of the aquascape, plants are carefully arranged in a complementary fashion. The cosmetic sand is evened out. High intensity lights are installed now. The volcanic stone with Amano's signature can only be seen from a specific location and viewed from a certain angle. Amano never forgets its playful spirit. Finally, all the procedures are completed. 